Assalamu alaikum. At times we are very hard on our children because our parents were like that with us. Without realizing that the generation changes, the harshness that our parents perhaps had with us may have been appropriate at the time. I, for one, was beaten, corporal punishment, but I enjoyed it in the sense that I feel today I would never hold it against my parents. That was their way of discipline at the time. It worked. That's why we are who we are today, I think. But as time progressed, there were better means to discipline the children and the world has changed. We engage the child. We have other methods of convincing the child to do what is right. We have other methods of penalizing or punishing the child where they deserve it to obviously to the proportion of the sin or the crime or whatever wrong they've done. But my brothers and sisters, there are two things. One is, if you're a parent, learn to be kind with your children. If the Prophet ﷺ has asked you to be kind with ordinary human beings, doesn't charity begin at home? Shouldn't we be even more kind with those in our own families? Khayrukum khayrukum li ahlihi, the best from among you, those who are best to their families, their spouses to begin with, and then the extended family. That's what it is. So if you're a parent or you're an older sibling or you're an adult who uh, is looked up to, remember, don't be too harsh and hard on those who are below you in terms of age or even in terms of discipline. If you are disciplining them, do so in a beautiful way. Talk to them. Understand the way the world has changed and is changing. What's right is right and will remain right up to the end of time. What's wrong is wrong and will remain wrong up to the end of time. But the approach differs. The manner of speaking, the manner of convincing, educating changes. These methods change with the changing of times, just like the method of getting from point A to point B, if it was walking or on animal back before, now it may be on a car or in a car or bus or some other mode of transport. And who knows, you may be on a drone very soon, subhanallah. So in the same way, remember the method changes. Don't be too hard and harsh because you will chase your children away. If you're a teacher, especially religious instruction, when you're hard and harsh, you chase the children away from the religion. You chase them away from Allah. When we talk to them and keep on reminding them only of the punishment without telling them about the mercy of Allah, then we build the fear such that they begin to struggle with mental health issues because of the fear we instilled in them without the balance of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Notice in the Quran, every time Allah speaks of the punishment, He quickly uh, adds to that his mercy and every time he speaks about the mercy he reminds them that his punishment is real so that's Allah striking the balance learn to strike the balance and if you're a child and your parent has been harsh and hard on you in the past excuse them forgive them don't hold it against them because they may have been doing something the way their parents did to them or because of their love for you they might have wanted to discipline you upon a very, very high level. And to them, they probably thought this is the way to do it because this is what I know without realizing that out there, perhaps everything has changed. So as they begin to realize, if you were to hold against them the harshness that they had in the past, you know what? It would be baggage on your shoulders and you wouldn't be able to embrace your family in a beautiful way. So learn to understand if your father or mother or a parent or a guardian has been hard on you in the past and they've changed their ways to a certain extent and they've become much better people. Let go. Let go of what happened. Let it go. That's the way it should be. Because don't believe that they did it because they hate you. They built you. Like I told you, I, I was beaten and I really praise my parents. In fact, I've learned so much. I am who I am because of the discipline, the upbringing, but I would not employ the same method with my children simply because the generation has changed. It's no longer effective. In fact, it has a negative impact today if you were to do that. So therefore, I'm employing other methods and the methods I employ perhaps in the next generations, even that might be outdated. Who knows? So therefore, my beloved children, 
those of us who may have been hurt by the way our parents were hard and harsh and disciplined rules, regulations and so on, I'd like to think most of them are doing it out of love. They want to see you rise and shine. They want to see you upon the best possible version that they can get you to. And that's why don't hold it against them. May Allah bless you all. May Allah grant you goodness. I pray that on both sides we can improve. Parents can also improve their methods of parenting. And inshallah, the children can improve the way they look at their parents sometimes. And I've known of people who've held against their parents some way of upbringing. Yet, given the circumstances, they did their best. If you are one of several siblings and you notice that your parent is now favoring this, the slightly younger child, perhaps their methods have changed. It's not that they are favoring them. Mostly, it's not that. It is because the times have changed. I know some parents couldn't afford things in the past, so they didn't give some of the older children certain things. Later, when they could afford things, they started giving the younger ones, and then the older ones begin to think, or began to think in some cases, that my parent hates me, my mother doesn't like me, because look at what they're doing for the little one. But that wasn't the case. They didn't have the means at the time. You didn't know. Perhaps they were going through tough times when you were young. So that was just Allah and He wanted you perhaps to be around at a particular time. Technology has advanced, everything else has advanced and that, that is why the opposite is also true. If your family is struggling financially today, don't think they're not buying you things or getting you things because uh, they got the older sibling something. Sometimes it's because they can't afford it anymore. So remember to look for these reasons, excuses, and at the end of the day, I think we should all be loving each other and forgiving, excusing, embracing, letting go. And in that way, we will have better families. Yes, the exception is when there are really evil parents. Sometimes parents engage in astaghfirullah, black magic against their own children. Sometimes they are so abusive. Sometimes they have sexually abused their own kids. Sometimes they, they verbally continually abuse and they haven't changed their ways and habits. And it is such that it's haram from an Islamic perspective. In that case, it is an exception. They need help. May Allah guide us all. And no matter what curse they may have dished out in your direction, Allah does not allow a curse to be effective if it is not deserved. You know, the evil plot and plan is not deserved except by the ones who have planned it and plotted it. Allah will not allow a plan that is evil to affect anyone whom it, does not, it is not deserved upon. So let's understand this. My brothers and sisters, not every child and not everyone has been brought up the way you were privileged to be brought up. So don't just judge people when they say, my mother is not a good person. My father is not a good person. They may not be a good person. Perhaps you were lucky. People say, just forgive, just forget. Yes, that is within a certain circle. Like I said today, forgive your folks, understand them as best as possible. In most cases, they are loving. They love you. They care for you. Love is not all about money and letting you do what you want. That's not love. In fact, I want to say those parents who let their children do everything they want without looking at what's right and wrong, don't truly love the child because they haven't thought about it. That's not love. True love is to be able to pass the baton on in a way that they would grow up to be the best of children in your absence. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide every one of us. Tough topic. I hope to be speaking more about it. But inshallah, up to that time, aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.